Thank you. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Recently, Duke Health opened a clinic focused specifically on inflammatory breast cancer. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz is here uh, with explain what this form of breast cancer is and how the clinic aims to save more lives. Liz. Well, guys, it's called the Inflammatory Breast Cancer Clinic. Duke Health tells me their goal is to diagnose cancer early and treat it. I spoke to one woman about her journey. 65-year-old Charlotte Finley is a patient at Duke Health's Inflammatory Breast Cancer Clinic. Her cancer journey started in 2017. I was getting ready for work, and I had a burning sensation under my arm, under my right arm. That's when she noticed a lump that wasn't there before. I was a little worried, but then I said, well, I just had my mammogram in November. Can't be anything wrong. Finley decided to visit her doctor, who did a biopsy. Soon after, she learned she had inflammatory breast cancer. Stage 4 breast cancer. We had to move quickly. Within two weeks, we started um, uh, chemotherapy. Inflammatory breast cancer is rare and accounts for only 1 to 5 percent of all breast cancers. It often does not cause a breast lump and might not show up on a mammogram. Dr. Jeremy Force, who is the medical director of the Inflammatory Breast Cancer Clinic, says IBC is characterized by physical symptoms developing rapidly. While not common, it is aggressive and it affects the skin. It can be atypical. Um, usually we look for one third of the breast to be uh, have redness on it for there to be some swelling, can have sort of an orange peel appearance. And it did it quickly. I mean, in two weeks, the tissue has started to change in my breast. There are differences in treatment for IBC, and that's why Dr. Force says the inflammatory breast cancer clinic is essential in diagnosing cancer early and treating it effectively. This is scary. It's scary stuff. And we, we recognize how life-changing this is, and we want to make patients feel comfortable that they've got a good team behind them confident that we're going to help them make the right decisions for them. Dr. Force and the team at Duke were with Finley through her journey. When you go there, you're not just a part of, you're not a patient, you're part of the family. She went through several months of chemotherapy, a double mastectomy and radiation, maintaining hope through it all. Stage four breast cancer, they move quickly and now today I can say I'm cancer free. And Finley encourages other women to stay on top of their mammograms. And if you notice anything unusual, as she did, don't hesitate to see a doctor. Guys, yeah, that's scary. Yeah, it very, very much is. All right, Liz, thank you.